Welcome to the Chart tab. You can reach the Chart tab by clicking the Chart icon in the Platform Navigation menu. In this tutorial, we'll go over the overall layout of the Chart tab and how to add, remove, and edit indicators and chart drawings. First, let's go over the layout. The Chart tab will display the active symbol entered at the top of the platform. You can quickly switch between symbols by clicking a symbol in a watch list or by typing in a symbol. At the top of the Chart tab window are the Chart controls. Clicking Indicators will bring you to the Indicators menu, which we'll go over later. Next is the Price Aggregation and Time Interval dropdowns, which control the aggregation period and time period displayed in the chart. Next is the Chart Type menu. Here you can select one of four chart types, such as a bar or candle. The gear icon is the Chart Settings menu, where you can customize your chart settings, remove or hide all of your indicators or drawings, and chart color. To the right of the chart menu is the cursor menu. Here, you can customize whether or not you want to see crosshairs when placing your cursor on the chart, as well as the location of the data box. Here, you can see, as we hover our cursor in the chart, you can see the open, high, low, and close price of each aggregation, as well as any data points of any added indicators. Next, in the tool dropdown, here you can place drawings on the chart for all your analysis needs. Lastly, you can adjust the view of the chart using the magnification slider. Now, let's take a look at how to add indicators to your chart. To add indicators, head to the indicators menu. As an example, let's add MACD, Relative Strength Index, or RSI, a 50-day and 200-day simple moving average. The panel on the left are the available indicators that can be added to your chart and the panel to the right is your current indicators displayed. Indicators that display below the price chart have a bar chart icon, and indicators that are overlaid on the chart have a line chart icon. Now, let's add some indicators. To locate an indicator, type in the search field above or scroll to locate. Once you find the indicator, click to highlight, then click Add Selected. Your selected indicator will appear in the current indicators window. To add more indicators, simply repeat these steps. To customize your indicators, in this case our two moving averages, click the indicator above, then within the parameters tab below, we'll enter 50 for our 50 day moving average, and then change the color. We'll do the same for our 200 day moving average. All of your indicators will display on or below the chart. To adjust the height of any indicator below, place your cursor in between your chart, then click and drag up or down. To remove an indicator, return to the indicator menu, then click the X in the available indicators window. Now, let's add a drawing to our chart. To place a drawing on your chart, head to the tool dropdown and select a drawing tool. Let's draw a trend line and a Fibonacci retracement as an example. If you're wondering what each drawing tool is, place your cursor on the icon and a label will appear. Now, let's draw a trend line. After selecting the drawing tool, click on the chart, then drag out. When finished, click the chart again. To add more drawings, repeat these steps. To adjust or customize your drawing, double click the drawing and a menu will appear. To remove a drawing, click the drawing in the chart. For PC users, press the delete key on your keyboard. For Mac users, press and hold the function key and delete. To remove or temporarily hide all of your drawings and indicators and start fresh, head to the settings menu and click the chart tab. Here you can hide your drawings or indicators, or to completely remove them, click remove. 